Hey everybody, today I'm doing an artist spotlight on not only one of my favorite Dolly artists, but also one of my favorite Dolly people. Um, I have three dolls here I want to show you. Uh, they have face-ups, custom face-ups from Miu Fish, and Miu Fish is one of the most talented people I know in this hobby. In addition to dolls, let me show you, she also makes these amazing plushes. I've seen plenty of her plushes because she tends to make uh, a ton of these for like Puddle and she donates them and they're all so unique and wonderful. And also in addition to that, she does like anime. I mean, she's like a really, really talented um, girl. But I wanted to introduce you to my three girls. Uh, one of them is a doll I've done a review on. She previously had uh, blue hair. But, you know, I think whenever you're collecting dolls, your style changes, and you might have noticed I like brunettes, so I've changed her wig, so I wanted to introduce you to her again, and then also show you my two new dolls that have face-ups from Mewfish. Um, there's kind of a fun story behind those two girls. So one of, um, one of the best things about going to London was that I got to meet so many really cool people uh, in person, right? You get to know them virtually, and then you meet them in person, and... I met a gentleman named Bruno, he was fabulous, and we kind of had this little, this kind of joke because we didn't realize that um, we had been competing for the same, for some of the same dolls, we liked the same style, and it turned out that we had been um, kind of competing without knowing against each other for these dolls. And so when I had sent Miu Fish a faceplate for a new uh, doll, I thought, wouldn't it be kind of fun um, to have her do two of them so that Bruno and I would not have to duke it out? Um, and then they would kind of be like twins. So it was going to be like this sneaky surprise, but I'm so bad at surprises. Anyway, so um, I can't wait to send that doll to him, and I will introduce you to her as well. So let me, I'll start with the doll here closest to me. This is my original Mew Fish face up. Um, I had intentionally asked her to make this doll kind of sad, so you can see her really, really expressive um, eyebrows. And I had also originally had her, you know, with this blue wig, so she had this kind of blue theme. But um, she's kind of morphed into what I consider like an Alice doll as a brunette, which I think is a great idea. There should be more brunette Alice dolls. Groove, if you're listening. Uh, that would just be a great idea. And I just love the outfit. She has Popolina eye chips, Leak World wig. Um, I always feel like Mew Fish dolls um, deserve all the best things. So that's my first doll. Let me move her aside here. And in the middle, this would be uh, the doll that I am gifting to my friend Bruno. Again, another brunette, because we both like our brunettes. Uh, the eye chips are um, almond doll. Both of these dolls are. And you can see the face up. I had asked her to make something very natural, very, you know, girl next door, innocent type. So she's got a very muted look to her. She does have a little bit of a shine on her face. So a little bit of a shimmer. But let me show you her eyelids. You guys have got to see this. And you will die because I died. I cried a little whenever I opened up the package. They're just incredible. The level of detail that Mew Fish uses on these eyelids just a little yarn here, is just amazing. It just makes this doll so unique, so beautiful. Um, to kind of finish her natural looking look, I gave her this uh, wonderful little cardigan. Uh, it was the first time I'd ever ordered something from Jerusalem, and I don't remember the name of the, the artist, but I will put the link to the Etsy shop. Uh, and then this beautiful little dress, uh, kind of a Mori style and little cool cat boots. But really wanted to make her kind of head to toe, natural, sweet, innocent look. All right, and then last but definitely not least is my new girl. Uh, she is kind of a lighter brunette with almond doll eye chips. The cardigan that she's wearing is from the same vendor in, um, in Jerusalem, of all places. I, I just like to say it. it's a great word. Um, but she has a dress from Atelier Millebrook um, and then some stock shoes. So really fun to put her together. And then I have to show you her eyelids as well because I don't know if Mew Fish was just having a little extra fun, but goodness. these I have never seen eyelids like this in my life. It's like there's a swan 
on one side. I mean, it is like a full watercolor painting across her eyelids. Just amazing. I don't even, I could, I almost don't want to keep her eyes open because those eyelids are so beautiful. But you can see, you know, I'd given her um, a little bit of direction with my doll that I wanted just a little more color, rosy cheeks. I like a little more color on the lip. So she really, um, she really gave me that, that look that I was looking for. That's a nice contrast to her sister, but um, also just fits very well, I think. Anyway, so I have been um, a fan of Mia Fishes for a few years, and I know that she is busy, and um, I will put her contact information. Uh, I'm not sure when she does commissions, but if you can get on a waiting list, always worth it, because she won't forget about you, um, and whenever she does have time, she'll, she'll ask you if you are interested in, in, in taking advantage of your spot. So if you have any questions about Mia Fish, please let me know. Thanks.